Well guys, we're out uh, sightseeing today with John, his last day here. He's got tomorrow too, but I have to work. And we have gone like 90 miles, pretty much through forests and we took him to Lake Billy Chinook and now we're in, outside of Sisters at my one of my favorite spots I come to every once in a while, get away. And it's called the pit. We're walking one of the, we're doing a little hiking. We're up, going up a really steep hill right now. Oh, the dog, shit. Come on, Gus. Come on, Gus. Forgot the dog. There he comes. Up to the top. Oh, but it's worth the hike up that little hill. I don't know if the GoPro does this justice or not. Isn't that beautiful? Any last words from uh, Central Oregon, John? Last words? Uh, no. No? Had a good time. Want to come back? I want you guys to come to Iowa. And uh, I got to catch a plane here shortly. And I got to go take him to the airport. We're listening to. Listen to what runway they're using. I was gonna try to film his plane taking off, but I don't think that's possible today. But, yep. I'm tired. Yeah. Yeah, I've got it's been a long two and a half weeks, but it's been fun. Yep. It's been. And fun. I'll film Gus. He's gonna miss him, aren't you, buddy? Gotta get Gus on there. Gotta yeah. get good old Gus. Oh, look at it go side to side. Here he goes, guys. He's going bye bye. Bye bye. Cousin, I'm going to miss you. It's got the laptop in it. You don't pack life. Shit. <laughs> I don't think the dually fits in the parking spot very well. The, the... Close enough. Yeah, whatever. That one's a little heavy. Takes up two. Probably. Hold on. All right, guys. Here I am at the Redmond Airport. We're about ready to take off. I have about an hour to go before my plane leaves. He's getting out of here. I get my camp trailer back. I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight, to be honest. Yeah. Might be back in the shop tonight. I gotta go work. I have work to go do. I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna take these guys with me today and just kind of vlog a little bit. I I always get confused on how to use these. <laughs> uh, United. Well, the ticket worked. He's got a ticket. Something something worked about extent. Yeah. On a jet plane. You gotta go through all this maze. I bet we can go around. <laughs> he should go through the maze. Are you going in there? I can't. I can't go in there. I have to have a ticket. Oh, you do? Yep, that's your TSA security. Oh, all so. Right, well, see you later. John, it was a pleasure. Yeah. We will do this again. Adios. Bye.
Well, guys, just like that, John has came, John is done, and he's conquered. Cousin did a lot while he was here. Now I gotta go back to work. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with my, my time tonight. I have nobody to talk to. Guess go to bed early, get up. Tomorrow, tomorrow's gonna be a different day and a, a different dollar, I guess. That was fun, guys. It was very fun. Ugh. Two would have thought, two weeks, well, a little over two weeks. Take a truck body from being just beat to piss to being painted and beautiful. Cousin does good work. That's why. Shoot, we all did good work. We all did good work. I'm going to miss that guy. I'm going to miss him. Yep. Well, guys, I'll see you in the shop uh, tonight. We'll uh, conclude this video. And talk about what's in store. I gotta pay to get out of here. But yeah. Alrighty guys, it's the next day. And uh, I gotta go drag some pastures. What we were going to talk about last night, we'll just talk about today. Got this turret up and going. Only took an hour, a dead battery. Fuel seems to be leaking out of the system, so I had to bleed it. If anybody's interested in buying this thing, it doesn't get drove enough. I've got too many vehicles. One has to go, and this one drew the short end of the sticks, or short straw, so. If anybody's super interested in this thing, uh, Get a hold of me through uh, via email. It does need a few things to be finished, like the air conditioning hasn't been accomplished yet. And it has been leaking fuel out of the system. Um, I don't know, it's not going on the ground, it's just it's getting air into it. And other 4BT swap guys have the same problem every once in a while. I don't know if the return line's leaking air. I don't know. I have to, if it sits for a couple days, I have to crack the injectors and bleed them out. I have a suspicion it's the return line leaking air into the system, but... She's running good now. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go get some fuel. I'll catch you guys out at the Ford Ranger. We're gonna drag some pastures and uh, yeah. Alrighty guys, no wind today. They say that and it's gonna pick up. Let's see if this old Ranger is gonna start. It's been a while since I've started it. I know I need gas. Here he comes alive. Like a glove. All right, guys, a little question and answer. Uh, starting with uh, your guys' comments uh, from the other night's video that we didn't get to wrap up, unfortunately, when John was here. So let me make a loop here and pull that up. Be back. Trying to drag here. Being a jackass. Alrighty, a little Q&A from the other night uh, that we never... I know we didn't get to do Saturday Night Rides either. I will... Kyle and I will get those caught up, guys. We will do those. If I can make John a part of it, I, I'll try, but I, I don't know if that's going to happen. Alright. This is a question for Kyle, but I can answer this one. What's needed to fix the suspension on the truck that we just um, got done painting? Uh, it fold if you guys go back and watch the first video ever on that pickup 
when it hit the pole, it folded the radius arm uh, component. So we have to get a hold, I think, of, I think it's Super Lift or Skyjacker. I can't remember, but it's a beefed up one that got bent. So Kyle's got to put in an order and get that part coming. I think that's the only thing that's broken on that front suspension. We did find a spindle in the truck, brand new spindle. So maybe it needs a bearing. I don't know. But we'll dig into that as soon as we get um, get to that department. Uh, another question. Question one, Kyle, why did you not pull the engine so you could paint the firewall? The engine runs stinking nice in that uh, truck. And if we end up do pulling the engine, we'll probably go ahead and clean it up and paint it. I don't see why that's a problem, but just for this two week collaboration, there's no way we're gonna pull the motor out of that truck. Uh, there's so much maintenance you can do. The engine's out, yes, of of the truck. My OS, my C, my CDO, CDO. This one comes from Brian. I think he's asking if the bumpers will be painted uh, to match the truck. I, I don't know um, what he was saying here in this. Yes, Brian, the bumpers are gonna be. You guys kicked butt, good job. Hope there is more joint projects in the future. Uh, we'll see guys, um, I think John enjoyed his stay, I enjoyed having John here, so uh, yeah, it's possible that uh, we'll see some joint um, videos in the future. Problem is, John lives half, almost halfway across the country, so actually further than halfway across the country, so it was not cheap to have John come out here. It was not cheap at all. This one comes in from Colin. Awesome job guys, I knew you guys would get her done. Been watching the series from BC, Canada. Subscribe to both channels. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm pulling a pasture drag and I'm dragging around a bunch of manure in the old Ford Ranger. All this truck does is it gets hooked to a pasture drag, drags the arenas and then gets put back in its spot. Um, are you painting the bumper's body color? Yes, we are. Are you guys having, you have some, you guys have great skills. Be proud, very proud of yourselves. Well, thank you, Kevin. I'm just reading all the comments from that uh, little update I did the other night. Question, what's up with the Russian accents? Well, we were sleep deprived and I brought, I just started talking I just started talking Russian and I think it came from back when I used to play Grand Theft Auto 4, I think, way back in the day. And we I started calling John cousin and he started talking Russian, calling me cousin. So that's kind of how the whole Russian accent thing started on this collaboration. And it kind of stuck. So yeah, that's where that all came from. Uh, this one comes in from the Fox shop. Uh, will I be invited back out? Yes, John, you're invited back out. And that's it from your guys' qu questions the other night when I asked you guys if you had any questions about the uh, project. And uh, I have a few questions for John. I have a list here, and maybe John will make a video and respond back to me. And maybe he's got some questions for me that I'll make another video and respond back to him. Uh, that we didn't get to film. I wanted to sit down, have a beer with him, and talk about some things. And my questions to John. All right, these are my questions to John. What did you th What did you think about the truck the first time you seen it? And did you think it could be done in our crazy time that you were that you were here? Well, obviously it did get done, but when you first saw it, John, did you think it could be done? Two. Did you? Did you think we would make the deadline? We didn't make the actual deadline that we set, so at first, did you think we could make the deadline or did you not think we could make the deadline? Three, what do you think about Oregon? Uh, another question, John. Um, what sucked about the project? Next question, John. What did you enjoy about the project? Uh, next next question, John. Uh, what would you do different if we had to start over and do it again? Next question, John. Any advice for our viewers that watch our videos? So those are my questions for John. 
I hope he enjoyed himself. I think he did. I got to take him out. As you've seen in the beginning of this video, we got to go out. We actually did more than just go to that pit. We drove about 200 miles around Oregon um, in one day. We did a lot of sightseeing around Central Oregon. It was beautiful. I'll play some pictures right now as I'm talking about it. We went to Lake Billy. Sh uh, we went to Smith Rock. Then we went to Lake Billy Chinook, and then uh, we made a nice drive into Sisters on back Forest Service roads. Uh, ending up at uh, D Wright Observatory, and then followed up with a nice snack and a beer at Elk Lake Lodge at Elk Lake, up at the High Lakes in Oregon. So we got to see some scenery. Got to have a good, nice, relaxing day cruising around. But uh, yeah, it all turned out pretty good. Uh, I would like to show you in this episode what Kyle's truck looks like in the sunlight, but that's going to be next episode. I'm going to try to get out there, hopefully maybe by this weekend. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the two-week uh, collaboration. I know I did. There was some times I was like, what the hell did I get myself into? Uh, I'm pretty sure Kyle thought the same thing because it was kind of my idea, the whole thing. And Kyle needed to paint job on that truck and John needed to get out of that damn shop and away from his Bronco and away we went. And you know, nothing was planned. A lot of people started yelling at us when we you know, didn't make the deadline. And, start getting grumpy and you didn't have this prepped and you guys wasted time we really didn't waste that much time guys it was you know someday sun up to sun sundown you can only spend so many dang hours sanding and working on a truck till you're just done you know it's we want to make wanted to make it fun for you guys and we are if we're not having fun you guys aren't gonna have fun like that one video you guys watched us just we're miserable in that one video and um that's when we we could have put we probably could have pushed ourselves a little bit harder and got it done a little bit sooner probably on time the problem was the, the video quality i don't think we could have made the videos or made any at all with as bad as attitudes as we had because we were getting grumpy at the project so the best thing my my advice for everybody is you know take your time like on a body and paint job don't do what we did don't set any land speed records you know just take your time and uh, don't worry about a deadline if it gets when it gets done it gets done uh, just don't be in a rush that's kind of my advice especially with body work you know there was a couple spots where both John and Kyle yelled at me oh you're not touching another thing on this truck and you know there's a couple blemishes that aren't perfect and if I would have had a little bit more time and probably could have made that truck uh, look pretty dang good so uh, with that being said guys that's my advice that's your questions I have the answers or I got the answers to you so if um, you guys have any more questions drop them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them during uh, the next Saturday night rides if you guys don't know what I'm talking about I'm not asking for any more rides at this point but um We'll be uh, doing that after we get through what we got. We'll get your ride on, but for right now, don't send any more rides in. Let me get caught up, and then uh, we'll re-advertise that. Um, if you're tuning in for the first time, uh, give this video a big thumbs up. Comments do go down below. If you turn on that notification bell, you get to see more of this, and um, subscribe. With that being said, guys, don't forget that our merchandise has got like a week and a half left and it's gone. That's the collaborations uh, die cast sticker logo and all that good jazz. So if you guys want a mug or a shirt with that cool logo that Kyle designed, you're gonna wanna jump over and do that soon. Uh, when it's down, it's down until we collaborate again and the logo might not be the same. So it might be a little collection piece that you might want, not sure, uh, but yeah. With that being said, guys, I'm signing off. Till next time, see you here.